Hi there, my name is Anna. This is Jasper, we've got our tennis ball. And today is all about the feet. So I am wearing two of my very favorite foot-friendly products. I've got my toe socks and my toe spreaders on today. And these are fantastic because so many of us spend so much time with our feet in shoes that maybe are pointy or that have the heel lifted or that are just overly cushioned. And over time, spending hours and hours and hours in these shoes can start to decondition our feet. And so we really kind of lose that connection from our brain into our feet as we're not getting this feedback from the ground anymore. And that can really start to create some issues up the chain. So think knees, hips, potentially lower back. Um, so we are gonna be working on restoring some of that feedback, some of that mobility um, and movement in the feet. Um, but I will also be linking these socks and these toe spreaders below if you want to check them out. I'm not sponsored, I just love them. So grab a hold of your tennis ball and we will get started here. So we're gonna start here with your foot on the ball. So more toward that inside arch. And you can just begin to roll your foot over the ball there. And then once we get that inside arch, move to the center of the foot, so starting at the top, and just working your way down there. And then you can move over to the pinky side of your foot and rolling there. And finishing that side just with some little circles over your entire foot. Awesome. You can come up off the ball there and already just notice a difference side to side. Come over to the second Second side, and we'll put the ball in that inside arch starting at like the base of your big toe. Rolling down. And then moving to the middle of your foot, starting at the top, and working your way down there. And then finally, the pinky toe side. And just finishing up there with those little circles. Awesome. And then from here, we're just gonna move into a stretch for the top of your foot. So you can just flip a foot over on the floor there. It's like one of those places that gets so tight we don't even realize it until we're in a stretch. We're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> and then just switching sides there. And then go ahead and just set both feet firmly down on the floor there and push down into your toe mounds and lift your toes. And as you lift the toes, see if you can spread them apart just as much as you can there, and then relax and set them down again. Let's do that a few more times. So lift and spread and set them down. Last time. So this next time we're gonna lift your feet up and then see if you can take your pinky toes toward the floor. Fourth, third, second, and big. Let's do that a few more times. So lift and spread and then do pinky, fourth, third, second, big. A Couple more times there. And I always find it really helpful to actually look down at my feet because we're just working, kind of like we talked about, to restore that connection 
to your foot. And we can use our eyes to help with that. Let's do two more there. And if your feet are just like not moving <laughs> at all, or it's like all 10 toes lift and lower at the same time, just be patient with yourself, right? If you've been stepping your, your feet in these shoes that are kind of, you know, just maybe not giving them the feedback that they need. And this is going to take a little bit of time to, to start to get that mobility back. Okay, awesome. Ooh, give that a little shake. So we're going to grab a hold of the ball again. And then bring your feet close enough together so that you can hug that ball in between your inner ankles. And we're going to keep that ball snuggled in there. Push down into your big toe mound. So that mound right at the base of your big toe. And we are going to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of balance work. So if you need to grab a hold of something here, just take a moment and set yourself up. But we're going to push into the big toe mound, and then lift the heels and set them down. Push into the big toe mound, lift and set down. A couple more times there. You got it. So getting this connection through the big toe is going to be integral. So it plays a big part in really movement of any kind. Really want to get that connection. Let's do one more there. And set it down. Nice work. So you can set that ball off to the side. We're just going to finish up on our hands and knees. You can spread your fingers there, shoulders over wrist, hips over knees, and tuck your toes under. And just try to get all 10 toes on the floor. And we'll just start with a little baby rock forward and back. Now if you are feeling a stretch through the bottom of your foot, then this is where you could stay. If you want to take it a little bit further, right, you could just sit back a little bit further, keep rocking there, or even come to sit back on your heels. And then maybe think about dragging your toes forward a little bit without actually moving them. Just take a couple more moments here. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> and you can bring your hands back down. And only if this feels okay on your knees, can sit back on your heels here. And we're just stretching out once again the top of the foot and maybe up into um, the front of the lower leg there as well. You could stay right there or bring the fingertips behind you and maybe lift the knees. Right, and if this is all crazy to you, you just wouldn't do it. Right? I just want you to stay in places that feel good for you, that feel helpful and beneficial. And then go ahead and lower that back down. Awesome job. That is your little foot refresh. Um, this is one that I would recommend coming back to um, as needed. And like I said before, I will be linking um, these toe socks and toe spreaders. So go ahead, check those out. Um, and if you like, it would be really awesome if you would subscribe to this channel so that you receive updates uh, whenever we post new content. So thank you, and I'll see you next time.